I welcome you all in this session of Basic Mechanical Engineering. I am Suresh Chaudhary, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, SKIT, Jaipur. The topic which I am going to cover in this lecture is the ICE engines. Basically, first of all, I will give you an introduction of an ICE engine or a heat engine. Then we will move to a four-stroke engine. We will study the basic functioning or working principle of a four-stroke engine. Let's see first of all, what is a heat engine? A heat engine is a device that transforms the chemical energy of a fuel into the thermal energy and then this thermal energy is utilized to produce the mechanical work. We can see clearly from this block, di block diagram that combustion of fuel causes the reciprocating motion of the piston over here in the diagram we can visualize and then reciprocating motion of the piston is transformed into the rotary motion of the crankshaft. Let's visualize. This is a simple model of a four stroke engine simple model of a four stroke engine. You need not to worry about what is meaning of four stroke or at all. This is a simple model of a four stroke engine. This is the cylinder, cylinder, piston. The piston is connected, the piston is connected to the crankshaft by means of a connecting rod and a crank. What is the function of the engine? The, the reciprocating motion of the piston has to be converted into the rotary motion of the crankshaft. Again, I'm repeating in the engine, the reciprocating motion of the piston, the reciprocating, the, the reciprocating motion of the piston has to be converted into the rotary motion of the crankshaft. How it is obtained? Let's see. The reciprocating, to convert the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft, the piston and crankshaft are connected by means of a connecting rod and crank. This is the connecting rod. This is the crank. When there is a downward force on the piston, the piston moves downward and the crankshaft rotates in this manner. So what actually is done? The heat engine takes some fuel which is burnt over here. Some fuel is burnt over here. As a result of combustion of the fuel, the chemical energy of the fuel is converted into the chemical energy of the fuel is converted into the thermal energy, which is combined by with very high pressure and temperature. Due to this high pressure and temperature, a downward thrust is exerted on the piston, which causes the piston to move downward. That results into a rotary motion of the crankshaft. So it is very clear to us that the heat engine basically converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft. That is, the chemical energy of the fuel is converted into the rotary motion or mechanical energy. So this is a simple explanation of a heat engine. Now let's see, move forward. Here I will be explaining some of the important terms associated with uh, an internal combustion engine. The important terms are, this is the cylinder. The topmost position, the topmost position of the, the topmost position of this, of the piston inside the cylinder is known as the top dead center. Again, I am repeating, the topmost position that the piston occupies in the cylinder is known as the top dead center. The bottom most of the, the bottom most position of the piston inside the cylinder is known as bottom dead center. I have written here carefully. Topmost position of the piston inside the cylinder is top dead center. Bottommost position of the piston inside the cylinder is bottom dead center. Now there are there, there are three important volumes, which the sept volume, clearance volume, and total cylinder volume. Let's understand each of the term one by one. When the piston is at the top dead center, when the piston is at the top dead center, the volume occupied by the working substance, this much volume, the volume occupied by the working substance is known as the clearance volume denoted by BC. Again, I am repeating, when the piston is at the top dead center, the volume occupied by the working substance is known as the clearance volume. When the piston is at the bottom dead center, the volume of the whole volume occupied by the working substance is referred to as total cylinder volume denoted by VT total cylinder volume. When the piston is at the bottom dead center, the volume occupied by the working substance is known as the total cylinder volume. The difference of the two is known as the swept volume, means the volume between the top dead center and bottom dead center is known as the swept volume. So this volume over TDC is the, uh, is the clearance volume, the volume above BDC is the total cylinder volume, the volume between the TDC and BDC is known as the swept volume. So we can write that the total cylinder volume as a sum of swept volume and clearance volume. Clear? Now let's understand a very important term regarding ICE engines. That is compression ratio. 
compression ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of the total cylinder volume the total cylinder volume to the clearance volume it is the ratio of the total cylinder volume to the clearance volume it can easily be shown that r equals to ratio of vt upon vc it is vt upon vc and compression ratio is for a cylinder or for engine is always greater than 